meditation, physical therapy, acupuncture, and of course, opioids. Just a few of the ways we deal with debilitating pain. A medical breakthrough, though, provides hope and comfort for those with chronic pain, including a woman on the Outer Banks. Investigative reporter Chris Horn talked with one of the first people in our region to benefit from this new technology, Chris. Tom, doctors are calling the spinal cord stimulator a true game changer. You trade taking daily pain pills for having a device implanted in your body. This option to opioids changes how your mind processes pain. And for this woman, the decision was a no-brainer. Seriously? That's true. I couldn't even get you to dance at the Christmas party. Heather Breckenridge works in a wine store. I was literally trying to put a price tag on a bottle and bent down to get it and never got there. She remembers what it felt like. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was excruciating, yeah, um, probably the worst contraction I ever had, and I had two kids. Turns out she had blown out two discs in her back. Four surgeries later, and the pain was still consistent. Then, from pain to pioneer. It went fantastic. Um, she was our first uh, trial patient with this new technology. Dr. Victor Sang at the Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center in Chesapeake told Breckenridge about a spinal cord stimulator. A surgeon implants a device with leads that connect to parts of the spine depending on the type of pain. A remote control lets you adjust the intensity. For Breckenridge, who lives in Kitty Hawk, the relief was nearly immediate. I knew it by the time we got back here on the beach from Chesapeake. Okay. Yeah, so about an hour and a half. Now she can bend over with bottles on shelves and even carry a limited amount of weight without mind-numbing pain. Standing in line at the grocery store would hurt if I had to stand there too long. And now? Now, nothing. Nothing. I will stand there all day. <laughs> Breckenridge says she no longer takes any regular prescriptions for pain. We've been able to reduce a significant amount of patients, their, their opiate uh, daily usage. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's a, an extremely viable option. Uh, and a good alternative uh, to chronic opiates. The Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association says the number of opioid prescriptions is trending downward, but the State Department of Health says deaths from those prescriptions are increasing, with a total of 504 Virginians dying in 2017. Is taking a Percocet every six hours for the rest of your life, is that what you want to do? Is that safe? You just simply do not need them. The, the pain is just... It's gone. And they said, you know, if, as long as I had, you know, 50 to 75 percent of a reduction in my pain, that's success. Mm -hmm. On any given day, it's 95 to 100 percent gone. There's nothing there. Before the permanent device is implanted, both doctor and patient will know whether it's a good fit. Teach them how to use the remote and just make sure they're comfortable with it and then go home and usually uh, do a three to five day trial. The first step is a temporary stimulator worn outside the body to see if the patient is a candidate. It is one of the only procedures out there that you can try it before you buy it uh, for spine and chronic pain. Um, so you don't have the opiate side effects, um, you know, no fogginess, no um, constipation and potential of overdose. There's, there's no potential of overdose with this system. Would you recommend it? Yes. Oh, my Lord, yes, to anyone. It, it is a lifesaver. Both the trial and the permanent procedures are outpatient. They take less than an hour each. The recovery from incision pain and bruising lasts a week or two, depending on the patient. And we have much more on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.